the issues you care about, and breakfast with key decision makers. The Fresno Chamber of Commerce, Fresno First Bank, Walmart, and University Square Hotel proudly present Eggs and Issues with special guest, Assembly Member David Valadeo. Those are issues that affect us, the uh, Endangered Species Act with uh, the Delta and water and how that affects not just farming but communities. We've got a lot of communities in, our, in, our, in my district specifically with bad water and uh, the Delta plays a big part in that. If we've got water coming into the valley, it's not, just, it's not just for farmers, it's for communities and we have to work on some of the ways to get some funding down here to make sure that we put in those water treatment facilities. We hear so many different stories about these communities and I've gone and looked through a lot of the communities, looked through the biddings, the bids that come in for these treatment facilities and a little community of 1,500 people. You're looking at seven to 16 million dollars to build a water treatment facility and those communities can't pay for that. And then you look at communities like Lanera that actually have a water treatment facility there on their, on their property, taxpayer funded. And you hear, uh, you see the news articles come out with uh, locals saying, 40 to 60 dollars I'm spending on bottled water for that community, for those people. And when I look at the numbers of what it costs to operate, if they were to operate it right, they'd be around 40 dollars. But they've got people living there and they're right next door to some of the houses irrigating three and four acres with treated water. You can't afford to treat water for that type of cost and then irrigate three and four acres. It makes no sense. And so it's the situations like that where it really hurts when you're trying to help a community. The droughts affected the crop of corn and that's run up the cost. Right now or just yesterday I read a report that said that there's, there's some investment type bankers that are, are projecting corn at over nine dollars for a three month and for the next six months eight and a quarter. We were, I didn't check this morning, but yesterday we were seven seventy, seven eighty a bushel. Corn used to be two dollars and fifty cents a bushel and that's affecting you. I mean I know that everybody wants to say it affects the corn, the, the dairymen and the beef guys and the, uh, the chicken guys, but you guys got eggs on your plate. It affects you. Um, most everything you eat has some kind of corn in it. So it's got a direct impact on you. Uh, one thing we've been putting a lot of pressure on the president for is to, to, to pull back on the EPA mandate, uh, the 10% uh, on the ethanol mandate. That would be a huge benefit for us. Um, I've, I talked to my trader yesterday and his comment to me was, well, it's going to affect the price of fuel. And I disagree. If we pull the mandate and tell the, the, uh, the blenders that they don't have to put 10% in, that they put in what they want, I think the market will decide what they're going to put in their, in their uh, blends and then they'll make the decision from there. But when you take that mandate away that requires that 10% of our fuel comes basically off our dinner table, that's got a huge impact on us. November 6th, the day after election day, if the governor picks up seats in the Senate, if he gets his two-thirds, I think they pass taxes. If they, if they lose seats and they, they might try to uh, call special session just before swearing in early December and try to get the votes there by a strong arm and a couple termed out members. Um, I don't know. Uh, that's, a, that's a tough one to answer because November 6th is such a huge day for that. Uh, I hear that polling's not so great around the Central Valley, but statewide there's a chance it will pass. Uh, I'm not a personal fan. I, I was given a story a little bit ago about uh, prisons and the prisons I've toured in the district and some of the costs that we go there that we see there. And I know we've got a lot of room to save money around this state in different issues and I, I really wish they wouldn't put, I mean they literally put a gun to our kids' heads with these trigger cuts. So it, it bothers me quite a bit. Uh, I had a couple bills signed by the governor. I had one last year that had to do with in-home health care services and I had mine that was signed the other day that had to do with uh, corn ethanol and funding for that from the 118 fund that was created a few years back. Uh, so I actually had the opportunity to have those two signed. My 118 money, the ethanol money that was cut off uh, was a fun vote, a fun, a great experience for me because not many times can a, a legislator or anybody say that when I testified I had the Sierra Club and the poultry industry sitting next to me testifying on my behalf. I mean talk about a bipartisan supporter across the, the field. But it, it was an interesting fight. We had a, a really heated debate last year. It ended up being a two-year bill and uh, this year we were able to get it through and made it a little bit easier. We worked hard. We had uh, some pension reform. That was a good thing. And uh, it was not everything that the governor wanted. When the governor introduced his plan last year, he had a 12-point plan. Uh, the Republicans followed suit, took his language word for word, put it in legislative form, handed it to him, said, Governor, here's your language, your bill. You've got us on board. Let's move. And uh, the bill was never heard in committee. 
but we did get about, I think, seven of those points. And it was, it was one of those where Republicans kind of got beat up a little bit because we voted for it. Well, we proposed an idea. We wanted to go all the way through, but we took what we could. We took an opportunity, just like my ethanol bill. It, it didn't get rid of the problem nationally, but I took that small step forward rather than sit on the sidelines complaining about what we didn't do. We did do something, did make a difference, and, I, and I'm proud of the fact that we did make a difference.